All right, guys, a little update here. I'm out working on this fencing project again. I've got to cut a few more trees out of the way. Those some dead trees. <clears throat> We're getting there. I run the wire this morning quick. I got all the T-posts set. A little bit of a hook in the middle. Sometimes it's hard for a guy to even follow a straight line, I tell ya. I guess it's a good thing I'm not building a Cadillac here, huh? Probably won't have a job for much longer. <laughs> but I got an email last Thursday or Friday, the nursery that I ordered some of my trees from said that they shipped them, so I wanted to get this fence put up. I can start getting this. And we got the flags here. I don't know if you can pick them up on the camera or not. There's flags all the way down. I've got it laid out, so I'm going to plant these. They're a hybrid poplar screen tree. They're only supposed to get like five foot diameter. But they grow up almost like the cedar trees, I think they're. I think they're cedar trees around the cemeteries, how they grow tall and they're only five, six foot diameter. I'm gonna plant those along this fence line, basically around the whole field. Uh, kind of like a shelter belt or, basically so it, it kind of keeps the cows concealed from the road. Um, you know, there's been a few issues with people running around shooting cattle and stuff in the middle of the night. These trees are supposed to grow like three to six feet a year. So I figure I'm gonna plant a row all the way around this, just to, just for peace of mind. Um, and then I ordered some regular hybrid poplar, which are a lot like a regular poplar tree. They say that they're they'll grow to a mature height in like 10 years. So I figure if I plant those uh, so far, you know, space them out every so far along the outside, that'll give me something to cut for firewood down the road. Being I'm thinning a lot of my woods out be nice to still have something to cut down the road I mean there'll still be firewood in there to cut but yeah and then I, I ordered those hybrid poplar not the screen trees those are coming now but the regular hybrid poplar and white pine I don't know when they're shipping those out but I don't know if the camera's picking this up but over my swamp I can really hear the frogs going so apparently spring must be here it's a beautiful day today 55 56 degrees sunny and just a slight breeze so perfect day to be offensive but yeah i'm getting it here's my trusty steed the difference between the wife's horse and my steed is that mine quits eating when i shut it off she doesn't like that joke though and i've got more trees to cut up going down this trail but once I get those big brush hog cows in there, they'll thin her out a little bit. So yeah, that's just a little update on the fence. I'm getting there. You see, I want to get this line done, at least one wire put up so I can measure off of it. I'm putting these trees out six foot from the fence. Everything I've read said the trees grow around four and a half to five foot diameter, so hopefully six foot. You know, once these trees are mature, hopefully they won't be touching the fence, and I guess if they do well, we'll have to take a hedge trimmer or whatever and kind of trim them by the fence so they're not shorting the fence out but so I got this this line done the one strand done I'll run two more strands along the road here and then the other end I got the corner post set but I'm thinking with that I'm just gonna measure out six foot pull a high or a poly wire just for part um, so I can use the figure out the placement of my trees I can always run that wire later on that side I have it set up so I can ride on both sides of the fence so after planting those trees they won't really be in the way along the road here this ditch is a little bit a little bit too steep to be riding on the other side of it so should be a little bit of a doozy to try riding on that sideways and tip over so but yeah a little update for you so stay tuned for more thanks guys <laughs>